Hello and welcome back to the What The Way and the video today talking about the news that broke earlier today um, from the Watford Observer, plans were submitted to um, the local council about um, you know plans to build a new Watford Stadium, a 33,000 seat stadium and, um, and yeah, we're here to talk to you about it today and yeah, I was quite shocked um, to see this come up again. It was briefly mentioned last March actually, there was, there was some there's a few articles out there kind of talking about it. Um, I don't know whether the club put that information out there to kind of get the feelers on, on what the fans were thinking. Um, but plans have actually been submitted today. I don't think they're plans for approval. I just think they're plans for the council to look at and assess to see if that is something they would like to move forward with. But, um, but yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? I mean, me personally, I'd love to see this happen. I know and I completely understand why people are sentimental to, to staying at Vicarage Road, especially older supporters who, you know, have been there their whole lives. But for me as a younger fan, to move into a nice, you know, swanky, modern stadium with all these new facilities, I mean, that's that's for me what how the club should be looking to move forward. We want to become a established Premier League club. We want to be attracting the best players that we can um, for our level. And I think moving into a new stadium, you know, will help us do that. And it's in the bushy area, not too far from Watford. Um, you know, in the article, they talk about the different transport links that that, that would connect Watford Town Centre to the, to the stadium in Bushy. I think it's about a half an hour walk from, from where Vicarage Road is now. So it is in walking distance. Um, <laughs> a bit further probably that than we're walking at the moment. But it, but it is in walking distance. And um, and yeah, I'll put some pictures on screen now to show you what the stadium will look like. And, and the aerial view of the actual land that it's going to be on. And very, very interesting stuff here. Um, so a bit more detail for you. It is a 33,000 seater stadium. Um, carbon zero as well, which is great to see, obviously, in the modern age, you don't really want to be um, polluting and, and you want to remain a carbon neutral stadium. Um, and it's hopefully going to go ahead in the next five years, it says here, and construction costs are estimated to be between 250 and 300 million pounds. And when you say that, I mean, that is a lot of money for, for Watford to be investing into this project. And that's why I think it could only go ahead if we were in the Premier League and getting that Premier League television money. Bit more detail down here as well. It says the stadium would be joined by a six thousand seater indoor arena, obviously, you know, connected to the stadium, you know, that, that could host events, um, you know, different sports and events perhaps, um, a two hundred bedroom hotel, offices, conference facilities, um, a cinema, restaurants, a country park, recreational facilities like football pitches and even they've said a go ape course. So you can see kind of where they're going with this. They want to rejuvenate the whole area. Um, and for me, as I just said, it's something that we should be looking to push forward with if we are in the Premier League. And I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me on that. Um, but I'm sure some of you also don't agree with me at all and, and you'd want to remain at Vicarage Road. And I know the club are also looking at ways to expand Vicarage Road, um, you know, if this new stadium doesn't go ahead. So don't be too concerned yet. I'm sure um, if this does, you know, get closer to fruition, I'm sure the club will consult the supporters, um, you know, con consult us in some way about, about how they're looking to move forward. And it's part of the overall growth plan of Watford, I think. I mean, you've seen in recent years, we had the whole badge situation, you know, um, you know whether we should change the club badge or not. And now we've got this stadium situation. Do we move away from Vicarage Road into this nice new stadium? Um, or do we stay at Vicarage Road and, and look to expand that further? We'll have to wait and see. And there's a little news update for you today. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all doing well. And we'll catch you for our next video very, very soon. Bye, guys.